Hey YouTube, this is Luke from Luke's Amateur Hour, and sometimes you just gotta drink what's in the fridge. Uh, that's not as good as Trogues. So this review, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over my socket sets. This is about the extent of my socket collection. This is a complete homeowner DIY, I don't do automotive stuff for a living socket set. This is about all you will ever need as a homeowner. And it's probably overkill. So I'm gonna walk through each of these things uh, and tell you what I got, why I got it, and how I've used it, and what you should do if you're just a DIYer. So first off, I'll start chronologically. I started with this guy. I was out with a friend a long time ago. I had to fix a component on my old Dodge Durango. Uh, it was some kind of air sensor or something, a throttle response, throttle position, TPS, throttle position sensor. Um, and I had no sockets to my name. So we were in the auto parts store. They had this. I said, hey Rick, do I need sockets? He's like, yeah, probably. I said, all right, well, is this set gonna work? He's like, yeah, probably, and it did. So I picked it up. So what is it? This was a quarter inch drive set. It was 30 or $40, I forget, but that was many years ago, so don't quote me on the price. Um, and it was metric, standard, uh, regular depth, and deep well with a handle and two extensions. And there's nothing in here. But I wanted to show you the case, right? So you've got uh, four, to 12 in uh, to 12 mil um, metric standard and deep well and then you've got three sixteenths all the way up to a half standard deep well the hat the handle extension bars I actually have a friend of mine uh, one of my neighbors who has a whole ton of really nice automotive parts and he gifted me with socket rails so this makes it a lot easier to fit into my toolbox because they're, you know, the footprint is much smaller. But they sat, my socket set sat in this for six, eight years, um, perfectly fine. So we'll go over what I got. Uh, this is the deep well. Um, there, there's another set of these. This is the, uh, I can't read. Eh, I don't know. This, oh, this is the SAE set. So I have the metric set counterpart. They're still in the toolbox. I don't have them on a rail, so it's a pain in the butt to pull out. So, you know, use your imagination. And then these are the standard uh, sizes. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 36, um, 36 sockets and three other pieces. All right, so. I figure about 40 a piece, a 40 piece set um, for about 40 bucks. That's about a buck a thing, which isn't terrible, especially when you consider it came with a socket. The socket, or I'm sorry, a ratchet handle. Um, it's not bad. It's not the great greatest ratchet in the world. It's a little Duralast, right? So Duralast. Zoom in there, and then you got. It's a little bit on the chunky side. Um, but it's got a nice handle. I, I don't mind it at all. I use this for my uh, for my uh, pressure washer carburetor rebuild, and it worked just fine. Um, the problem eh, I had some problems with how stuff would get all weeble wobbly. It's not a quick release, so the detents on the sockets aren't the greatest. Right, it, it comes apart with relative ease. But you know what? For a homeowner, this is probably all you're going to need. Um, usually. What I would encourage you to do is to, as a homeowner, is to also look at 3 8 um, 3 8 is probably the most common. This is a quarter inch set, so it's on the relatively small side. If you're going to do stuff like, uh, if, if you have outdoor power equipment, lawn mowers, pressure washers, weed whackers, um, a riding tractor, uh, anything like that, 
uh, a, a blower, I would encourage you to get a quarter inch set because they, the carburetors and stuff like that are gonna use smaller fasteners. All that aside, I also have these two sets. The identical sets, one for inch SAE, one for metric. They're Craftsman, they're 10 piece sets, 3 8 inch drive. This is the kind of stuff you need if you're going to be assembling. I, I use this set for my assembling my wheelbarrow. Um, uh, you, you're going to use this for assembling uh, and working on your regular car, right? If you're doing oil changes or things of that nature, you want a 3 8 inch set. Now, this is a 10 piece set. <laughs> my buddy also gave me a rail for this. So, um, imagine that in there. Now the blow molded case is really nice. The socket fits really well. Um, it's your standard, or I'm sorry, the ratchet. And then you get the, the nine piece sockets that go all the way up to seven sixteenths half, all the way down to uh, the three eighths or whatever. So these are really common. And they give you this little storage bin, which is actually useful, which I used when I was doing stuff on my tractor, uh, cleaning out the, the mower blades and attaching and detaching the, um, the mulching com uh, component to it. So um, I just put it on this, but they, again, sat in the storage case forever. This set, $11. I got it on sale at uh, Sears for $11. Lifetime warranty, I take any of these back. If I break them, they give me a free replacement. $11. I couldn't find a comparable set at Harbor Freight. Uh, I was trying to do that today. I uh, just couldn't find a comparable set. Um, Honestly, keep an eye on Sears and Craftsman if you think you need sockets, and that's probably the way to go, but buy them on sale. This was on sale. This was not normally $11. Uh, this was on sale. So the part number for this guy is 34553, um, 934553, and the metric version is 934554. Right, so um, the other thing I would say is that you probably want both. So I'm $22 deep, but I've got one handle and nine sockets inch, and I got one handle and nine sockets metric. So I'm covered for the bulk of what I'm going to need as a homeowner. I don't have deep well, right? I'm not doing automotive work here. Um, I. I I'm just kind of putzing around the shop. I'm kind of screwing around with stuff. Again, this is a DIYer channel. This is, this is not Luke's automotive channel. This is Luke's amateur hour. Um, so I'm using these rails. Thanks again to my neighbor who provided them uh, to, to make it a little bit easier for me to fit everything into my box, my toolbox, which I'll do a toolbox tour later. But uh, anyway, so for $22, I got two Craftsman sets and two handles. I don't much like the handle, so I bought a Harbor Freight separate handle, but identical handles. Hey, now I got three 3 8 handles. And uh, throw one in a box here, throw one in a car for a travel set, whatever. For a homeowner, this is more sockets than I'll probably ever need. Probably more sockets than you'll ever need. Um, now, if you're doing automotive, automotive stuff at home, you're a hobbyist, yeah, pick up what you need. But for somebody who just putzes around and does random shop projects, this is plenty. Um, anyway, you can pick up your Duralast. I have no complaints about this set, really. Uh, the detent ball is not all that great, but eh, what are you gonna do? I paid a dollar for this, so I can't really complain. Craftsman set, I can replace anything if I break it. Awesome, Sears is right up the street for me. Uh, really no complaints at all. Harbor Freight's not far from me either, so maybe Harbor Freight's the way to go? I don't know, I would say Craftsman if you can afford it. Spend the extra $10, get a Craftsman. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you guys the sockets that I have uh, and this, the reasons I bought them and what I've used them for. So thanks again for tuning in. If this is the kind of stuff you guys like, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have a comment about this stuff or you think I said something incorrectly, which is entirely likely, go ahead and comment. Tell me, uh, tell me what I did wrong and we'll set the record straight. Um, and then if you think you want to be interested in the stuff that I'm going to provide 
in the future here, go ahead and subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. And the best beer is free beer. I don't care what it tastes like. Thanks again for tuning in. You guys have a good evening. Have a good one. This is Luke. I'm Luke. <laughs> I'm really messed up this ending. I'm Luke. I'm an amateur. This one didn't take an hour. So, coming back at you. <laughs> I messed up the previous ending I recorded. Anyway, these are the sockets you probably need as a homeowner. Um, that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Like or dislike. Comment. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, constructive criticism. And subscribe if you think this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Uh, my name's Luke. I'm an amateur. This one also didn't take an hour. Although, it took a little longer than normal because beer. Have a good evening, YouTube. Really appreciate you tuning in.